Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 14th Excel tutorial. And today I'm going to continue some uh, discussions regarding advanced functions within Excel. And I'm just going to co cover a couple of them, uh, specifically count if a certain criteria is met and also sum the total if a certain criteria is met. So what I did here is I just created several, I created 100 rows times several columns of random numbers between 0 and 100. Zero and 100. This is kind of a nice way to do that. Use the equals, equal sign, the rand between function. Then you put in your bottom number and your top number, and this is a good way to create random, um, uh, random integers. Okay. So then, uh, what I did is I copied all this over to sheet number three here, and the reason why I did that is when you run different formulas or functions against it, these are constantly updating. Okay, because it's running the rand between functionality. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is go down here, and I've got all this all this data, and I need to know how many times a certain event or criteria is met. So in this case, I want to count a number of times something happened. So in this example, I'm going to use the count if functionality. Scroll down, hit count if, hit the tab, and I want to. I want to do a range from A1 through, which is always separated with a colon, M100, comma, and what's my criteria? I want to know how many times 6 has occurred. Okay, then I close my parentheses. 14 times the 6 occurs within this range of cells. So that's great, um, but if I'm tallying up, this is great for summarizing data, putting it in reports and so forth. But I might want to know what the total value of all those sixes is, especially if this were like sales reports. You might want to find out how many times item A was sold for six dollars, and then what's the total value of all those item A um, sales. So in that case, we can do a sum if formula equals sum if hit tab, and then again my range is A1 to M100. But this time I'm going to do it by using the mouse. So I'm going to left click in A1, I'm going to hold it down, I'm going to scroll over to M, all the way down through row 100, okay, don't let go of the mouse yet, when you're right there let go of the mouse, then just hit comma, and you'll see what happens here, now I want to know my criteria, and what I do there is I put in 6 and close the parentheses, and you notice it tallied it up for me, and if you want to check that, it's equals 6 times 14 is 84 so you know it did it correctly those are the two things I wanted to show you today um, please don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see something in particular please leave me a comment or an email and I'm gonna keep moving forward and we've got lots of good stuff coming up thanks